our Presbyterian Church several years ago adopted the Nighting Elementary School to be the recipient of whatever helpful things we could do. So the first time I heard that we were going to be in partnership with one of the local churches, I thought, how's that going to work? Little did I know that after they came, it was like the Calvary had arrived. We decorated bulletin boards. We sorted and arranged school supplies. And in general, prepared the classrooms for the students while the teachers could concentrate on subject matter preparation. Another time, our church bought pencil sharpeners for each night school classroom. That was a much needed amenity for which no money had been allocated. But we've also been able to send our kiddos to the church. Last year, at the, during the holidays, some of our students who had reached a particular goal were able to participate in a holiday party. They were able to make holiday crafts, bake cookies, and it was a wonderful way for them to be able to benefit from all their hard work as well. The church has been come up with uh, pizzas for everybody on this campus. We're talking almost 70 staff members who are very hungry, and so here they go rolling up with pizzas in the trunks of the cars. Since the First Presbyterian Church has adopted us, there have been some changes here at Night Aid. We have more teachers um, working together and sitting together in the teacher's lounge, and I think that has a lot to do with the coffee bar. Also, it has to do with the building of morale. So teacher morale is higher since they adopted us. That's the background to what our congregation has done so far. That brings us to this year's need. You know, teachers, like everyone else, enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning before officially starting the school day. We would like to provide a product called Fair Trade, Equal Exchange, Presbyterian Coffee. That is a coffee produced in South America and in Africa by and under the auspices of Jobs for Fair Wages and Fair Working Conditions. So, while our Nidic school teachers are enjoying fresh brewed coffee every morning, someone in South America or Africa is being paid a fair wage and working under fair working conditions to produce the coffee beans, package them, and ship their products here.